Today we're talking about Stu Mocker and his potential to be a mastermind. Let's get into it. A certain rule push the laws and you end up dead. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Not in my movie. Surprise, Sydney. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. A very simple formula. Do you want to play psycho killer? Everybody's a suspect. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's going to go something like this. I'm Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. So you guys know I'm a stew believer. I believe there is a 100% chance that he is still alive and will return in Scream 7. I also believe that he's leading this cult of ghost faces and that they've been setting this up in Scream 5 and Scream 6 for the ultimate reveal in Scream 7. And there are people out there who don't believe that Stu is smart enough to be this mastermind, to be leading this cult of ghost faces and orchestrating this elaborate plan. But today I'm gonna share with you why I think he is in fact smart enough. I did do a video several months ago called Stu Mocker Mastermind. So I will be reiterating some of the things that I said in that video, but I'm sure a lot of you are new viewers. So a lot of you will be hearing this for the first time. But I do have something new to add that I noticed on my most recent rewatch of Scream 4. And I'll start with that. So I was watching Scream 4 just last night and during the killer reveal, Charlie says to Sydney that Trevor is this generation's Billy Loomis. Keeping with the remake theme, Trevor's this generation's Billy Loomis. He says him and Jill are the innocent victims, Randy and Sydney. And we're the innocent victims, Sydney and Randy. But then when Charlie is like hyping himself up for Jill to stab him, Charlie says old school, just like Billy and Stu. Yeah, old school, like Billy and Stu. And then of course, Jill stabs him in the heart and Charlie says, this isn't how we rehearsed it. And then Sydney says, you said it yourself, Charlie, Billy and Stu, Trevor and you. You said it, Charlie, Billy and Stu, Trevor and you. And then Jill says to Charlie, Trevor was your partner, but you, you were the idea man. Trevor was your partner, but you. You were the idea, man. So if Trevor is this generation's Billy Loomis, that makes Charlie Stu, AKA the idea man. So Jill is implying that Stu was the idea man. And if you remember in the first movie, Stu says that it was his idea to frame Neil Prescott. I thought of that. <laughs> and that is arguably the most important aspect of him and Billy's plan, who to pin it on. It wasn't Billy's idea, it was Stu's idea to frame Neil. So this is just some sort of proof that Stu is smart enough to be a mastermind. It wasn't all Billy, like a lot of people think that it was. Stu had some ideas of his own. And let's not forget that the final act takes place in Stu's house. So he definitely had some say in the plan and some control over the plan. It wasn't all Billy. I'd also like to point out that Stu had patience. There was a whole year between Maureen's murder and the Woodsboro murders that we see in the movie. And Stu had to wait a whole year and keep that secret to himself, which proves that he wasn't just some goofy, impulsive kid. He had patience and self-control. One year to a high school student feels like an eternity. So the fact that he could keep a secret for a whole year and control himself shows that he's not just some goofy, impulsive kid. And now Stu is older and wiser and he's just able to be even more patient now. He's capable of waiting almost three decades to carry out his revenge. So all of this combined with the fact that Jill in Scream 4 implies that Charlie is the new Stu, aka the idea man, this just all ties together with the fact that Stu can in fact be a mastermind and a leader and orchestrate this elaborate plan and create this cult of ghost faces. I believe that Stu has been playing a long game. 
not only do I think that they've been setting this up in the most recent two movies for what would have been this trilogy of Scream 5, 6, and 7, but I do think it's very possible that Stu has kind of been playing a role in every single movie since the original. Nerdbox here on YouTube has this whole series of theories that Stu has been present in the background of every movie in one way or another. So it's very possible that Stu has been in hiding for the past almost 30 years and just waiting and plotting and playing this long game. And hopefully it will all be revealed in Scream 7. Now that Sydney is back, because I think this can only work with Sydney. It can't be with just a bunch of newbies because, because then who would really care? Obviously, if Stu comes back at all, I will be ecstatic whether it's with Sydney or not. However, if it's not with Sydney, I would be very disappointed with that. But like I said, we have confirmation that Sydney is in Scream 7. And Matthew Lillard himself has said that he will only return if Nev Campbell returns. So now that she's back, there's no reason why he wouldn't also return. He's been very adamant about Stu being alive for the past few decades. And now he seems to kind of be slowing his roll a little bit, kind of making it seem like maybe he's not alive. But in my opinion, that is a good sign because if he is coming back, he's not going to spoil it. He's not going to say, yeah, guys, I'm back. So the fact that now he seems to be a little doubtful is a good sign to me. And he even admitted at a fan convention, I believe this past December, where someone asked him, are you going to be in Scream 7? And he said, if I am, I'm not going to tell you guys. But I do believe now that Nev Campbell is confirmed for Scream 7, I think Matthew Lillard is also going to return. So now's the time to do it, especially since I do believe that they've been planting the seeds in Scream 5 and Scream 6. If you're new here and you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, please go check out my full Stumacher playlist. I have so many videos on Stumacher and the cult clues. There are a ton of clues in both Scream 5 and Scream 6. So please go check out some of my past videos if you're not caught up on all of that because it's pretty crazy. All these clues and breadcrumbs that they've been leaving sprinkled throughout these new movies and even in some of the older movies because we do know that that was the original plan for Scream 3. Stu was going to come back before they decided to change that due to real life events. So it's very possible that they always had this idea in the back of their heads to maybe do one day. So there are some clues in some of the older movies as well. One last thing I want to throw in, which I did talk about in my video from months ago, Stu's last name, Mocker, and the definition of it. The definition of Mocker is a person who is influential or important. Someone who is a cult leader can be considered influential because they influence the cult members and they're important to the cult members. The members of the cult worship the leader. So I just think this is interesting. I had never heard the word mocker used as a noun before until I was watching a show and someone called someone else a real mocker. So that's when I googled the definition and noticed what the word meant. So that's a pretty crazy coincidence, or maybe it was intentional. A lot of times, writers will give their characters names that have meaning, whether it has to do with their personality or the storyline, whatever it may be. Kevin Williamson obviously wrote the first movie, and he had this like rough outline of what the trilogy was going to be. So he intended to bring Stu back in Scream 3 to be leading this cult of ghost faces consisting of like high school or college students. So it's very possible that when he created the character of Stu Mocker, he intentionally gave him that last name knowing that he would return one day as a cult leader. 
But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Do you think that Stu Mocker is smart enough and has potential to be this mastermind? Let me know your thoughts. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please also make sure you turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future posts, future scream theories like this one, or future scream 7 announcements. Any sort of update we get will be posted here to this channel and I expect we're going to get one soon. It's been a while. Please also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please also go subscribe to my second YouTube channel. And please also consider becoming a channel member here on my main channel. You will gain access to exclusive content and these fun little emojis that you can use in the comments on all of my videos or in the live chat whenever I have live streams. You can find the link to join down in the description or you can find the join button on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.